afternoon, Malcolm. Uh, M0 MCL, G0 CDX stroke Oscar Nancy. Yeah, all good, mate. Um, we've uh, had a quite a nice day today. And I, uh, um, well, we Welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Have Ventures. What you see here. It's a $12 radio, or more correctly, you're seeing the box of a $12 radio. This radio was sent to me by AliExpress, and um, I thought I was gonna make a video on it, and there are two reasons why I wanna make a video on it, and let's open the box while I talk. Uh, and first of all, if you haven't heard about AliExpress, AliExpress is an online marketplace where you can get pretty much anything. And by anything, I mean anything. You can get ham radio equipment, campers, clothes, electronics, anything you can think of. Uh, and with any kind of quality you can think of, actually. Um, and pretty much any price range. And this radio, as I said, is $12. And I want to see how bad a $12 radio possibly can be. So, let's see what's in the box. There's a manual. I read through this. Completely useless. Um, doesn't tell you anything about how to operate the radio. Then I'm just going to bend this box a little bit back here. If you've seen my shack crew videos, you know that my shack is pretty, pretty cramped on space. Actually, what you see in the box is the entire workspace here. We got the radio and this little radio, we're going to take a closer look at it in a little while here, but I just want to see what's in the box first. Uh, it's the B-Tonera BTDX. Let's see what the box says because I can't actually remember. It is the B-Tonera BTDX330. And the reason I got this radio is, first of all, I want a radio that is compact that I can have hooked up to my all-star node all the time. This is a 70 centimeter only radio. There's no display on it. And uh, it's about the size of a hand mic. It is actually pretty much exactly the size of a hand mic. Besides the radio itself, you get an antenna, just a short stub here. But let's be honest, you're not gonna do any DX with this radio nonetheless. Let's put this to the side for a little while. You get a charging cradle um, and I actually clicked the wrong button when I ordered this and ordered with a US plug. Um, but as you can see it's got a European plug and they just shipped an adapter if you're needing a US plug. Um, this charger takes anywhere from 110 volts to a 220 volts, 50 and 60 hertz. So it's good for both North America and Europe, and pretty much the rest of the world. We got a belt clip, two screws, uh, a USB-C cable, and this is for charging. There's a USB-C port on the radio here, and a lanyard. And that's all you get in the box. And I just cleaned the desk here a little bit while uh, I had the camera off. Let's take a look at the radio and what it looks like. On the front, we got a speaker and a microphone. As I said, this is almost exactly the size of a speaker mic. On the side here, we got an orange PTT button, channel up and down buttons. I'm gonna demonstrate that a little bit later on. Other side, we got a standard Kenwood connector here for programming and a speaker mic. Although I, I'm going to claim that using a speaker mic on this speaker mic sized radio is just plain dumb. And then we got a USB-C cable here for charging and I'm happy to see that there's USB-C for charging. I really wish more radios would come with that. On the top we got a power uh, volume wheel and then we have the battery on the back here. And in case you want to know, the belt clip screws into the battery. I really doubt you're going to buy any more batteries from for this radio, nonetheless, if you get it. Battery is claimed to be 5,000 milliamp hours. I can tell you from the weight, it is not. I'm not going to do any endurance test on it and see how much it really is. But it's probably more than good enough if you're going to use a radio like this. Um, 
no FCC, no CE stickers. So regarding where you live, um, you gotta find out if this is legal for you to use or not. In Norway, we can use radios that aren't CE marked as long as we're ham radio operators. And we have checked that the radio meets the uh, specifications it's gotta meet. And we're gonna test this on the uh, tiny essay later to see the harmonics or at least the first harmonic. Power is less or equal to five watts. It's claimed to be a five watt radio. We're gonna test that as well and see uh, how much power we got. Let's click the battery back in place here though. Construction besides that, pretty thick aluminum here. Looks pretty solid, feels pretty solid. Feels, it feels good to hold in the hand. And before we go on to check the harmonics and everything, we're just gonna turn it on. And there's a voice uh, telling you what channel you're on. Oh, and the radio's on an all-star note, so I gotta turn this down a little bit. Um, there, there's a voice prompt. Um, there's no VFO mode, naturally. There's no VFO on this radio. It is Chirp programmable. I programmed it into Chirp, two frequencies, my all-star node on channel one and the 70 centimeter simplex on channel two. And that's probably the only channels I'm gonna use with this. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate the channel button now. And this is also our Chinese radio that has channel 12. Um, besides that, counts up to 16 and then goes back to zero. Nothing, nothing special about that. But I really wanna hook this up to the Nano VNA and see how it actually performs and how the harmonics are. And after that, we're gonna put it on a power meter and see the power output of it. And yes, I know I said uh, Nano VNA in the last clip, but it's of course the tiny SA. Uh, the Tiny SA Ultra, and this is set up to measure harmonics, and we got it all the way up to three and a half gigahertz here. Um, nonetheless, though, it's gonna take a little while to do the measurements, so we're gonna push in here and see how the results go. And um, if you see that green bar there, I'm not sure if you can see that, that's every sweep it does. So we're gonna let it go for a little while here and see. And this is, of course, hooked up to a 50 dB attenuator. Um, but it doesn't look half bad thus far. We're gonna hold it for a little bit longer, let it do a couple more sweeps and see. But I'm gonna say, just by looking at it, it looks a heck of a lot better than uh, what I expected actually. Um, well within usable, I'd say. Uh, I see the eighth harmonic is a little bit high perhaps, but besides that, not a lot of harmonics to see here, so, um, I'm actually thinking that this radio is good and considering that it's it's only $12, um, I was not expecting this, to be honest. I'm gonna go get a power meter, we're gonna hook up that and uh, then we're gonna see um, how much power we get out of this. And we have the radio hooked up here um, to the power meter and um, I am actually gonna be surprised if we get five watts out of this little thing. So let's uh, get it here. I got channel one as uh, my all-star node. That is on low power. Channel two is um, high power. So let's check high power. High power is exactly one watt. And we're now on low power. And Low power is also one watt. And there's one thing left to do though, um, in order to see if this works. I'm hooked up to the all-star parrot node here. So let's see how well it works. This is Lima Bravo Zero Fox India testing. Your audio is perfect. Here is your playback. This is Lima Bravo Zero Fox India testing. And that worked. So if we look at this radio, first of all, we got to take into account that this radio is only $12. And I'll leave an affiliate link down below for it and some discount codes. But if you take into account, as I said, that this radio is $12, it's not half bad. Um, it's done way better than I expected. First of all, I didn't expect the build quality to be anything. This little thing, it's actually 
it's really well built. Uh, I'm guessing that the parts of this radio is probably more than $12 if you're going to source them yourself. Secondly, um, I wasn't expecting it to be harmonically clean, and it is, relatively speaking. It's at least clean enough. Thirdly, I wasn't expecting this radio to be a 5 watt radio, and it turns out that no matter if the power setting is high or low, it's 1 watt. I wasn't expecting it to be more than 1 watt. It's still not half bad though, and it's Chirp programmable as I said, and if you want to program this radio in Chirp, it's the Ebri AR63 I think, um, even though this radio is the Betonera BTDX330. And since it's an Ebri, I'm actually thinking, will this thing work with an Ebri antenna? Let's uh, see. And I know that this is gonna be way outside frame of the camera, but we still gotta check it out though. And this is the largest debris antenna I could find. So let's uh, hook it up. And And yes, it does work with an Abri antenna. It's not practical with an Abri antenna, but it works with an Abri antenna. And if you should wonder about any other antennas for this, it's an SMA uh, male plug in the radio. So typical of Chinese radios. I would, however, with one watt and for the purpose I'm gonna use it for, and just use the included little stub antenna here. It's way more practical. You're not gonna bring this radio with you. You're gonna use it for either one repeater or an all-star node as I'm gonna use it. And for that purpose, this little thing is great. So, one thumb up for me, not two thumbs up because of the not five watts, still more than good enough for the price. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you by any chance watched this far and didn't like the video, thumbs down button. And also, please share your opinions down in the comments below. I know you got opinions. Also, please consider subscribing. Um, only about 20% of my viewers are subscribed and there's room for a whole lot more of you. And that's it for now. See you down the bands. See you in my next video, 73.